This is our new uh, 19 foot by 48 foot uh, vented type greenhouse shade house. It's, uh, it's cool naturally, there's no fans, no cooling pad systems, no, no uh, electricity used in this house for cooling. And for heating we use groundwater here in Florida and we can raise the temperature about 20 degrees. But all of these plants are being grown right now in the dead of summer without any cooling. There's no electricity used in this greenhouse whatsoever. And in this house, which is 19 by 48, we can put up to 1,000 plants. Here's some typical tomatoes just planted. Uh, they're actual hanging tomatoes, and uh, uh, they're trained to hang down. Here's uh, peppers in the tower here. Uh, as you can see, peppers growing out of the towers. We train these uh, by hand to, to make them branch. Here's a good example of a tomato plant that's really loaded. Some of the tests we're doing on hanging tomatoes. And you'll never see anything like this anywhere that will hang in a pot like this with this many tomatoes on it. This plant is almost six months old and it's got peppers growing on the top as you can see, red peppers. And then down underneath at times you can grow things like onions, uh, any kind of root crops you want to grow underneath. But beautiful tomatoes here at June the 19th down in Summerfield, Florida. Uh, there's probably maybe 20 pounds of tomatoes on those four plants right now and we've been picking off of it for close to six months. Here's another type of tomato. As you can see it's a smaller tomato called the health kit. Very tasty small tomato. Uh, and then we have orange peppers on top. A little smaller because orange peppers and yellow peppers don't get as big as our big red peppers. Tim, can you explain kind of how peppers change their coloring? Uh, with, yes, I can. The uh, a pepper is always green before it turns yellow or, or orange or red. So green bell peppers are ordered by color, but they'll always be green first. And then to turn red, it takes about three weeks from the time they're fully grown in the green uh, to a red, yellow, or orange, or whatever color you want to buy. A cubanelle is the same way. It, it grows as a green pepper first, and, and then it, as it turns red or orange as it gets more mature. So a, a, a pepper that is red is a, is a fully ripe pepper. This is a green pepper just starting to turn, as you can see right now. But this one will be red soon, and that's, that's about the, where you want to pick them for the best taste. Hey, Tim, a question that we get a lot on Facebook and some other um, you know, places is how are we cutting back these plants to, to kind of focus on the fruit. Oh, okay, on, uh, particularly on peppers, you have to do this. You'll notice there's a bamboo stake in here, and that's just to hold them up and keep them, because a, a pepper won't hang like a tomato, it will break. So we tie them to a, a bamboo stake or just brace them up with a bamboo stake. Now when they get too tall, like this, it's got too many peppers on it, we just pinch the top out, and it'll branch, it'll keep branching. So when a, pe when a pepper gets too big, just, just pinch the tops out. It won't hurt them at all. They'll just keep they'll just keep producing peppers, and, and they may hang a little bit, but you want them to stay within a compact uh, space. And actually, you want it you want to make it a compact plant.